This is how to get rich in your 20s. So every single day I go ahead and journal and I go ahead and just review all of the thoughts, all of the actions that I did in the past. And it's actually a really good concept to go ahead and do because when you go ahead and, for example, do something and then you go to sleep and then you wake up and you just kind of like relive the entire situation the following day and you ask yourself, what can I do better? What can I do that ever? What, what should I keep on doing and what should I avoid doing? You start creating feedback loops where you literally start getting really, really good at knowing what to do and what not to do. And there's this concept that's now kind of just always coming back over and over and over again. And it's a concept of double downing on what's working and to focus on chasing just one rabbit. Now I interviewed this guy in Bali that I met several years ago that completely changed my life. He makes over a million dollars a month. And I just remember like his little, like just voice in the back of my mind. And it's like, Mike, if you try to catch two rabbits, you catch none. If you try to catch two rabbits, you catch none. And when I started thinking about that, I was like, ah, when in my life has this been so applicable? Like I remember in 2015, I went from zero to 1.5 million in 12 months. So I got rich fast, literally got rich fast, right? And I had several six figures in profit after that. So here I had six figures in profit, right? But instead of just double downing on that one rabbit, I took that money and I just got like 10, 20, 30 other rabbits, like for no reason. Right? I, was, oh, I was making a lot of money and I was like, oh, I got bored. I was like, oh. Look at that rabbit, look at that rabbit, look at that. And I started chasing so many freaking rabbits. And before I knew it, that money that I, that, that I built, the nest egg, was gone. Why? Because I chased multiple rabbits. And that was a very, very big lesson for me because it seems like every single time I made a lot of money was because I chased one rabbit, one opportunity, one right time, right place, right people, right, right opportunity, right vehicle. And then every single time I lose money is when I was at the top, I'd be like, okay, let me do something else. And I would like do something else because that's what everyone else was doing. And I was like, oh, people are getting rich over there. I want to get rich faster. And then I would chase it. And another rabbit, another rabbit, another rabbit. And before I knew it, all the money that I just made is now gone. All the money that I made is just now gone. So when it comes to money in business, it's really good to focus on that one thing. That's why like when, when everything hit the fan and I had to start all over again, I was like, okay, what is the one thing that I need to focus on? And for the business model for me, because I'm not the smartest person in the world, because I don't have that much experience in managing a huge team, because I don't actually enjoy hiring a big team, I literally stick to affiliate marketing. Like affiliate marketing is my one, you know, rabbit that everything else that I'm doing is going towards affiliate marketing, recommending other people products and services. Why is that? Because if I'm not the smartest person in the world, if I'm not the person that could go ahead and, for example, build a big team and build infrastructures, right? Why would I spend my time doing that? When there's other people that can literally focus on that and they're a lot better than me at that and they love doing that, and all I gotta do is just be myself and create marketing material to go out and sell that product or service, right? Like it just, it just makes more sense. So, so now when I went and did that, everything started scaling. We started doing six figure months profits and it was just good because why? My life is just easier. As I make more money, my life gets even more easier. But right now, it's very interesting because guess what? the rabbits start popping up. For some reason, when the money's good, the rabbits start popping up, right? You're like, oh my God, look at that. Look at that opportunity. Look at that, 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 that. There's so many opportunities. But I've learned, in order for me to get rich, it's about sticking to one rabbit over a compounding period of time and just sticking to it while most people get off the train. When it comes to your opportunity, you find that opportunity, you have the right time, right place, right people. Sometimes it's best to just sit on the train because most people can't deal through the boredom of just doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, they're able to go ahead and do it in their job for the rest of their life, right? And then they're like, oh, in their 60s and 70s, ah, oh, we screwed up. We, we, we did the same thing over and over again. But it sucks at a job. But if you do the same thing over and over again in a business and you never change, you never, you never go ahead and, for example, try a new opportunity, you just stick to one thing and get really, really good at that industry, becoming the best world-class at that specific thing, you'd be surprised on not only how much money comes into your life, but how much easier things get. And this is just a one thing to understand about opportunity because opportunities, they come and they go, right? But when you literally have an opportunity of a lifetime and the lifetime of the opportunity that you can take advantage of right now, sometimes it's better to just double down. And again, right now, it's still hard because guess what? There's people around me that are making way more money than me. And they're like, oh, do this, do that, do this, do that. And I feel the rabbits coming about. But I know for me and myself that I need to double down on the thing that has allowed me to build wealth and to keep on growing, because there's also people in my industry that make hundreds of millions of dollars a year, so I see how big it actually could be, right? And the biggest part is just having patience, 
right? So if you really want to get rich in your 20s, you really got to understand this. What are things that won't change? People are like, oh, what's in the future going to be like? Well, what is true today that will still be the same in the future? People will still have a pain point and buy things health, wealth, and love-wise. That's obvious, right? So okay, if I know that this thing is going to exist in the future, how can I double down on it now? Because I'm not competing to go ahead and make a bunch of money now. I'm competing to make millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars in my 30s, 40s, and 50s by just sticking to what's already simple and working for me now. Does that make sense? And when you're understanding that, and you, you do that over a longer period of time, and you think in longer horizons, not just in a week, not a month, but years, and if you can, even decades, it is so much easier to get rich when you have that longer time frame horizon in your mind. And obviously, if you have no idea where to get, go, go begin, you're like, Mike, I don't know exactly where to get started. What are some things that I could go ahead and get started where I can literally focus on it for the next years and years of my life? We literally have people go from zero to $30,000 a month in five day weeks with this brand new opportunity and they just get better and better and better and better at it because they stick to that one thing. And if you need help with that and you want us to hold your hand, make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video on this podcast right here and I'll see you guys later. Woo!